uh, welcome to my channel. My name is Uwe Ansa. I am a registered community health practitioner and also a public health practitioner. You've been watching my videos on TikTok, on, um, on um, Facebook. Yes, you've seen all my posts, um, all my health educative posts um, on how you should stay healthy. And sometimes ago, I made a video on um, ovulation, um, the signs of ovulation, those things that you will experience, that you will see, that will tell you, oh, this is, um, you're about to ovulate, okay. So I actually made a video on that, and I also made a video on um, on a menstrual cycle. Yes, I made a video on menstrual cycle. So, and then um, that video actually triggered some questions that ladies will be asking me, how do they, um, how they can calculate um, their ovulation, their, the length of their menstrual cycle, and a whole lot of questions like that. So, uh, some ladies will be asking me, um, they said they, they saw their, their, their period, their period started about two days ago, when are they going to ovulate? when are they going to be safe you know they've just been asking me questions like that but you know but i will just ask them back yes okay so i'll ask them what is the length of your menstrual cycle so if i ask them what's the length of your menstrual cycle they will not be able to tell me you know some of you cannot tell me the length of your menstrual cycle some persons will say um the length of my menstrual cycle is three days is four days is five days you know those four days those five days you are telling me are the days you bleed yes those are the days you bleed so that is not the length of your menstrual cycle that's the purpose of this video okay so for you to understand or know the length of your menstrual cycle you are going to um pick a calendar and then you just marked or you on your own you just marked note the first day you bleed like for example you bleed today okay let's take today as first so you bleed today today is the first day of your um period okay so you um you keep um a date okay so you you observe this and then you just look at the next day that you are going to bleed that's the next month the next um phase of your um menstrual cycle like for example like i said you bleed today well, so you take a date you have, you take note of today and then you look at the next months that you are going to bleed, the next time you're going to see your period. So the days between um, today and then the next day of your, um, the next phase of your menstrual cycle is the length of your menstrual cycle. I don't know if you understand this. That's if you bleed today, you take notes of today. And then so the next um, phase of your menstruation that is coming, you mark that day that you start bleeding the second time again. So you just calculate from the first um uh, from the first menstrual cycle to the next phase of your menstrual cycle that is the length of your menstrual cycle so if you calculate this it you will have some persons will have 21 days some persons will have 25 days some person will have 26 28 30th 33 is still okay okay so it's still okay so if you calculate that you just keep that okay so that's what we are going to use for um, this video, that's what we are going to use um, to know your ovulation day, your fetal um, phase, okay, when you are safe and when you are not um, safe. So we are going to um, use that to analyze um, here in this video. Okay, for, for those of you that have irregular period, yes, for some persons that have irregular period, this is what you are going to do. Like I said, you keep it, 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 it you keep notes, you take note of the first day you you have your you see your period and then the next phase you're seeing your another period so you keep a track of those you just do it like that for six good months so if you do it like that for six months you isolate that you take out the shortest length of your menstrual cycle you take out the shortest from that six months you've calculated you take out the shortest um, length of the, um, the, the cycle so that's how you can get the average length of your menstrual cycle so if you take out the shortest one okay so for example if you take out and it's 21 days let's start with 21 days so if you take out and it's 21 days this is how you are going to know um, your fetal um, phase your ovulation day and then those days that you are safe also and this will also help you to know um, when um, you have an intercourse, um, when you should not, and when you should, okay, for those of you that are actually looking for babies, okay, you, you want to conceive. So this will also, these tips will 
also um, help you. However, some things can change your menstrual cycle. There are some things, some you know, and things can make your menstrual cycle to change. We are going to discuss that in another video. So we'll discuss that in uh, um, uh, another video. So, um, like I said, let's use 21 days. So if you have a 21 days menstrual cycle, then this is what you will do. You subtract 18 from that 21. So if you subtract 18 from that 21, you're going to have three days left. Okay, so if you subtract 18 from that 21, you have a three days left. So that three days definitely means that you bleed on um day one you bleed day two okay on the third day okay on the third day that is when your fetal period begins so from the third day if you have an intercourse on the third day you are likely to get pregnant so you are likely to get pregnant so um like i said 21 minus 18 you will have three so that means on the third day is the beginning of your fertile phase. It's the beginning of your fertile phase. You are very fertile from day three. So um, that three now you add you add four to it. Understand? So if you add four to that three, that will make it seven days. So what that means is that on the seventh day, on the seventh day, that is when you are going to ovulate. That's when you're going to ovulate. So that seventh day, you add another five days to it. So if you add another five days to it, that will um, um, automatically give you 12 days. That means from the third day that your fertile phase begins till um, day 12, you are not safe. You are not safe. Well, understand you are not safe from the third day um to the seventh day the seventh day is your ovulation day then from the seventh day to the twelfth that means you are not safe this extra five days is being added because some things can change your um your can can make this ovulation day to change or you know this day this egg can come on that seventh day or can come on the eighth day okay you can ovulate on the seventh day or on the eighth day okay so that's why it's um being extended for uh, another five days so what this what this means is that what this means is that if you are if you have a 21 days uh, menstrual cycle um on the third day you from the third day you are not safe yes from the third day you are not safe from the third day till day 12 you are not safe i said for the 21 day cycle so um this is if you have 21 days so you subtract 18 from it so you are going to have three that is left so this three means that this is the beginning of your um, menstrual um, this is the beginning of your fertile phase so if you add four to this three if you add four to this three this will give you seven okay so this will give you seven so that means on the seventh day this is when you are going to ovulate so if you add um, five to this seven okay so you have 12 so that means um, from the third day okay which is the beginning of your fertile phase to the 12th day you are not safe you get me now you are not safe so that means from day one day two you are safe from day three okay um up to day 12 you are not safe from day three up to um day 12 you are not safe day 12 is the end of your um fertile phase your fertile phase begins on the thought okay till day 12 okay this is when your fertile phase ends okay so um on um on the seventh day this is when you are going to ovulate okay on the seventh day this is when your ovulation um, um this is your ovulation day okay so the third um day is when your fertile phase begins okay so you are likely to get pregnant from the third day okay so you get to um day seven which is your ovulation day and day 12 okay which is still your fetal um phase so um if you have an intercourse um within this day between these days you are likely to get pregnant so from day one day two you are safe from day one day two you are safe from the first day second day you are safe from the third day fourth fifth seventh eight nine ten eleven twelve you are not safe if you have a 21 day cycle okay so from the third day to the 12th day you are not safe so from the 13th day 
till the next phase of your menstrual cycle you are safe you understand me now you are safe from the 13th day to the next phase of your menstrual cycle you are safe okay so that means if you have an intercourse on those days okay on those fertile phases that i mentioned you are likely to get pregnant i hope this video um, will help you so if you have a 28 day cycle you are still going to use this same process so you subtract 18 from it for example if you have a 28 day cycle you subtract um, 14 sorry you subtract 18 from that 28 days you are going to have 10th okay so that means on the 10th day that's when your fertile phase begins okay so that 10th you add 4 to it that will be 14 so that will make it 14 so that means on the 14th day that's when you are going to ovulate so um you add another five days to that um to that 14 that means um it's 19 days that that means from that means um um from the 14th day to the 19th day you are still not safe so this is um the very simplest way to calculate your um uh, your menstrual cycle the length of your menstrual cycle and then um, your ovulation um, day and then your fertile phase so no matter the length of your menstrual cycle so you follow this same process to get to know when you are safe and when you are not safe all right